Hello everyone. Institute for Excellence Higher Education is presenting e-content Today we are going to present or deliver a lecture of the law of dimensioning marginal utility for the major and GEC in the paper or the course microeconomics. These are the contents, learning outcomes linked to previous topic, introduction, background of consumer behavior, law of dimensioning marginal utility, assumptions, explanation with the table and diagram, then importance, and then the references. First of all, in the last lecture or in the class, we studied about the concept of the utility, who gave this concept, how can you define with the total utility and the marginal uh, utility. When you studied about this topic, you will get the understanding or information or knowledge about how to evolve the concept of the utility, how a consumer behave in the market, then we you we will understanding you will get the understanding about the law of dimensioning marginal utility then what are the importance of this law in the field of economics and how can you apply this concept in the society in the market in the government decision the consumer behavior analysis basically concerned to the concept of the utility which means that satisfaction and it has been divided in three parts by the economist. First of all it was given by Marshall in terms of cardinal approach then it was extended by the Higgs in terms of ordinal approach, then a new approach was given by Professor Samuelson, which was not based upon psychological aspects, but depends upon behavioristic approach of the consumer. Then first of all, this law of dimensioning marginal utility was given by Goshen and this consumer behavior as two parts which were given by Marshall that is the law of dimensioning marginal utility and the law of equi marginal utility. Firstly it was given by uh, Goshen that's why it was or it is known as law of Goshen first law of Goshen later on it was developed by professor Marshall. Marshall said that additional benefit which a person drives from a given increase of stock of things diminishes with the increase in the stock that he has, he already has. These are the assumptions. First of all, uh, the cardinal measurement of utility. It means that the consumption of a consumer, which he gets from any commodity or services, it can be measured in terms of utility like milk, like uh, cloth, this, or you can say that this is the numeric measurement. You can say that if you are getting one piece of apple, you are getting 10 utils of that unit of the apple, that is the cardinal measurement of utility. Second, the hypothesis of independent utility, it means that the consumption of a consumer does not depend upon the consumption of any other goods or the commodities. It depends upon the same goods or the same units of the uh, goods. Then marginal utility of money is constant. The marginal utility of money is constant because if there is any change in the price of the goods and the commodity, 
the value of money may be increase or may be decline so it was assumed by marshall as a constant because without this assumption marshall cannot measure this law introspective method means the behavior of the consumer the psychological behavior of the consumer what he is thinking uh, about the consumption of any goods and he always try to uh, compare his consumption to the other members of the uh, other consumers of the society the consumption should be consistent no change in psychology similarity in quality and quantity of units of goods this law depends upon the following facts once wants are limited resources are limited budget of the consumer is limited so consumer at a particular point can satisfy only one wants rather than the different wants and the goods are not perfect substitutes like tea and coffee goods are the imperfect we can explain law this law states that when an individual consumers consume more or more units of a goods the intensity of the his particular wants for the goods diminishes this law we can explain with the help of this table and the diagram this table basically concerns three columns first column is uh, is for cups of tea consumed by consumer in a day then what type of total he is getting from the consumption of the goods in the second column then what will be the utility of the additional unit of the cup so then you can say that when consumer is taking the one unit of the um, cup of the tea he drives 12 utilities of the satisfaction with the second cup of the tea the total utility rises from 12 to 20 utilities but marginal utility falls to 10 utilities it means that the marginal utility from additional cup of tea goes on declining whereas total utility is increasing from 12 to 41 when he consuming 16 unit of the good uh, goods of the tea when consumer takes seventh cup of the tea then total utility has been maximum and the marginal utility uh, from this seventh cup is zero after that the consumer takes the eighth and ninth cup of tea the total utility is declining therefore marginal utility become negative this law has two importance one is the theoretical importance of the law practical importance of the law theoretical importance of the law is is uh, is me uh, is giving some importance how to form how to formulate the law of demand this law helps to make the law of demand to consumer surplus and how can we determine the price of the goods and the commodities in the uh, market when you are going to the market for purchasing any laptop mobile phone or any dress you always try to compare the satisfaction which you are getting from the purchasing of that goods or the commodity then you are ready to pay the price this is the uh, this is the use of this law of diminishing uh, marginal utility in the daily life of the human beings and you can equate your satisfaction uh, with the law of equi marginal uh, utility then practical importance of the law define the use value and exchange value use value means consumer consuming any goods and the commodities then what how much amount is giving that is the use value but there are number of goods which are not only for consumptions but they are using in the production process of the other goods so this is law of diminishing marginal utility helpful to uh, how to determine the price of the goods of the others value that is known as the exchange value Uh, this is this law can be used in the progressive taxations because the marginal utility of money of rich section or the rich class or the rich human beings is low whereas the marginal utility of the poor people is 
very high so government in his in the fiscal policy imposed heavy taxes or progressive taxes on the rich people as compared to the poor people on the basis of this law of diminishing marginal utility similarly industries are producing different varieties or diversified of the goods and the commodities because the taste and the preference of the consumer is going to change with the passing of the times that's why um, automobile sector uh, brings different models of the car in the market and how can we distribute the income in the society it is depend upon the uh, law of diminishing marginal utility these there are some exceptions where this law does not implemented the first of is accumulation of money if a person is very interested how to save the money or is always thinking about to accumulation of the money then this law does not apply such type of persons then intoxicants those persons those consumers we are we are we, which who are very fond of wine and drinking and smoking this law does not apply such type of uh, consumers scarce commodities like diamond where this law uh, does not apply because the price of the scarce commodities uh does not determined by the law of diminishing marginal utility it is basically determined by the um, market forces in terms of demand and the supply of the goods similarly and uh, the best music which you love the best literature which you like to read like geeta like uh, any other uh, religious literature or fiction there at that point this law uh, of diminishing marginal does not apply status symbol if you are going to purchase to bmw car or status symbol goods where this law does not apply similarly the complementary goods like butter and makkhan butter and bread or you can say that car and petrol this law does not apply in such type of goods small units of the commodities if you have small units of the commodities for the consumptions where this law does not apply the criticism the cardinal measurement of utility is not possible you know students very well about that the utility measurement is not a quantification it is a psychological concept it is a subjective concept it is a qualitative aspects and we cannot measure the quality the subjective the psychological concept in numbers in quantity we can give order to them similarly the second criticism is marginal utility is not constant marshall assume that the marginal utility of money is constant but in real life in real world when the price of the goods is going to increase the purchasing power of the money will be decline for example you have rupees 100 for purchasing of any goods and the commodities the price of goods x is rupees 5 you are able to purchase 20 units of uh goods from your budget rupees 100 suppose that the price of goods has been increased from 5 to rupees 10 now you are able or purchasing only 10 units it means that the value of money has been declined due to increase the price so uh it is not constant this is a model for applicable only one goods whereas in the real life we the consumer is consuming more than one goods it does not explain about the income effect and the substitution effects when there is a change in the price of any commodities or or goods in the market so these are the basic uh, basic criticism and the summary the law this law explain about the consumer behavior as well as its applicability in the daily life of human beings regarding to the purchasing of goods and services beside this 
This law is applicable in the policies of the government and diversify production of the industrial sectors. Um, in, uh, in the end of this lecture, you can take uh, um, some uh, uh, videos or some books take like Korshani's, Hauja and Jingan um, then the assessment when total utility is maximum marginal utility is zero constant increasing decreasing the answer is zero when total utility is declining, then marginal utility is negative. The marginal utility of money for rich people is low. Law of dimensioning marginal utility is applicable in taxation, price dimension, revenue. Option is D. Write all. Marginal utility of money is zero, constant, increasing or decreasing. The answer is B. That is the constants. Thank you.